Hello internet and welcome to something completely new. We're going to be checking out the Sky Island mod for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Now I have not done a uh, live Let's Play style commentary in a really long time, hoping everything goes pretty well here. So we're going to check out the mod. I'm here on the Create World screen. We're going to set up everything. I just thought people would want to see this. If you don't want to see uh, the world creation and character creation, I will put a timestamp on the video so you can just skip ahead to whatever you want. And we're going to take a look at these advanced options, make sure I didn't change any of the defaults or anything like that. People will scream at me if I put in the, uh, the wrong thing here. So that all looks pretty good to me. And then the mod manager, ignore the huge list of mods I have that are almost exclusively outdated. And then here we have uh, some of the basic mod stuff, uh, Bionic Professions we're not going to use, but we'll keep it on. Fungal Growth, I don't even know if this mod works anymore. Uh, NPC needs, you do want this. Uh, I think it's still broken somewhat, so we want that. Uh, same with portal storm stuff, just keeps them from being NPCs being killed during por portal storms. And then we have stats through kills. I guess we'll leave that on. I never play with this. I don't know why it's in the mod list. And then tameable wildlife I added pretty recently because why not? You can tame more pets. So that looks pretty good to me. Oh, of course we need the Sky Island mod. And let's have a look here, view full description. I, I've never played this mod. I have never seen anyone play this mod. I just know that it's supposed to be like Escape for Tarkov, but with Cataclysm. So I thought, you know, why not check that out? I love Tarkov. I love uh, Dark and Darker was cool until they had kind of a weird fiasco with, uh, I thought they had some anti-Semitic comments that made it, you know, not, not something I want to play in the future. But anyway, an attempt at an entirely new way to play Cataclysm uh, inspired by games like Escape from Tarkov and Dark and Darker. Uh, begin on a floating island in the sky and warp down to random spots on the earth below to conduct or conduct expeditions for items you need. Permadeath is gone. You will return to the island on death but you will lose any items you had on you build up your stockpile carry out missions for unique rewards customize your home island and be prudent about what you take on any given outing be aware that play now doesn't work that's fine we'll make a custom character so my thinking here um which we'll, we'll talk about as we get into character creation i guess is that we probably won't have all of the stuff that we need right away so i don't know about things like uh, maybe we should take like an unarmed skill or something like that because we might not be able to get a weapon right away like if it warps us down right into a pack of enemies what you know what do you do about that so let's uh get into character creation here we'll try to be quick about this i know people hate watching uh character creation stuff all right and character creation has changed in the the last like i haven't done a let's play in probably two and a half years so it's changed a lot since then and we have uh, basically no point system anymore so instead at the top here and most of you will be familiar with this i guess we have these things that just give us an idea if our character's too overpowered not overpowered I probably will lean on overpowered because I'm, you know, not uh, particularly skilled here. All right, ignore that. Uh, so we have one scenario, which is Warper. As if the world ending wasn't enough, it seems some kind of extra dimensional powers that B have taken an interest in you. You have been placed on a floating island high above the earth, safe but isolated. Only by using the reality bending powers of warp technology can you visit the world below in brief, randomly targeted excursions below. Now you said below twice in the same sentence. That's called repetition. You don't really want that in your in your copy. Venture down, gather supplies, and return with only what you can carry to build up your home base and your stash over time. The powers of the warp make you unable to ever truly die, so on failing such an expedition you will simply lose all items and equipment you are carrying and be swiftly returned home at low health. Okay, so I know very little about this, but yeah, in addition to probably wanting some form of unarmed in case we get into a difficult situation, it sounds like we might want some first aid skill as well because we'll be at low health when we return and we don't have, uh, presumably we don't have something like therapist in uh, Escape from Tarkov. In Tarkov, when you die, you get a chance to heal immediately after coming back to your, your little, your little uh, hideout in between sessions. Uh, here we're just going to take Backpacker. I don't want to fiddle with professions. We're just going to take one I'm familiar with. This is one historically I've used all the time. Very basic profession. It just starts with a backpack is like the main thing. I, and survival, but that's not super relevant. I think for a Sky Island, I don't know if there's anything we would necessarily need survival for. So we're not too worried about that. I'm not uh, familiar with the million back. Well, actually, do we have any? Can we search unarmed? No, we can't. What about like, do we have boxing? 
we do kickboxing, okay? Melee unarmed, unarmed technique familiarity. You know how to punch someone without hurting your wrist. That's actually a thing. Um, I don't know, wrestling? Do we have wrestling? We do have wrestling. Um, I don't, uh, you were likely on the 100 plus wins list back in school, okay. We don't wanna to go too hard at this. We'll take wrestling beginner. Actually, let's just do stats and stuff. I like a 12 stat character. I know that makes us overpowered. I don't really care. Set everything to like pretty good. I just, I have not played in a really long time. So I'm a little concerned that I'm going to build a character that sucks and I'm gonna die a lot, which I guess doesn't matter too much in this particular setup. Um, and I, you know, I haven't even decided, are we like, are we a lady? Are we a dude? I guess we're a dude. So let's just grab some facial hair. We'll take a Van Dyke in and we need uh, like a hairstyle. All right. And then traits is like one of those things that uh, has changed a lot due to the point system. Previously, we'd take things like ugly and truth teller on basically every character because they were kind of free points. I really don't like the idea of my character being ugly for their entire playthrough. We will take squeamish. I like that trait as like a role play trait. Um, usually I go poor hearing. We can do that. Uh, why not? And then uh, what's the other one? Heavy sleeper is one I often take. And you know, I always take um, lactose intolerant as well, but that was more of a point balance thing. So I don't think we're going to do that. It'd be nice to be able to eat dairy products for once. Anything else negative that we want uh, just to kind of flesh out a character a little bit? I really hate insomnia. I don't like the any of the ones that make you sleep less is generally something I'm not fond of. And then we'll take positive traits. I guess robust. You know what? Genetics conflicts with uh, bionics now, correct? So like mutations and bionics can't really coexist like they used to. So I don't think we're going to go into mutation. I don't like mutation. I prefer CBMs. So we'll, we'll ignore that. People always tell me I should take quick on every character. I guess we'll do that. And then uh, night vision is the classic choice. Other than that, let's, you know what? Since we're not gonna be ugly, let's be pretty. I wanna be a pretty character for once. How about that? Everything at the top of the screen is saying that we are overpowered, which is uh, probably gonna irritate some people, but I don't really care. We're just gonna get moving here. Do we wanna take any skills? Okay, if we're on an island in the sky and we're gonna have to retrieve basically everything or craft everything from scratch. Actually, I don't know if there are facilities on this island. Like, I don't know if there are merchants you can trade with, things like that. If there are, we would want something that maybe buff our, our social skills a little bit, but I, I don't know. Let's take a one in healthcare. We weapons have proficiencies now, so even if we had skill, we would still need to obtain some proficiencies. I, I'm not super interested in any of this. We'll take a fabrication one, I guess. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea how to build this character. Don't hate me, internet. We're just gonna, in fact, let's just get into the game at this point. Anything we need to do here. We need a name, of course. Uh, enter name, cancel to delete. You know what, we'll go. Oh, you can't, it, 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 okay. Randomize name, please. Brandon Barnhart, no, I hate the alliteration. Get out of here. Kevin Harwood it is, fantastic. So our character appears to be strong, overpowered, powerful, and uh, average at social skills. That sounds about right for me. Uh, we're starting on the Sky Island, of course. We're 25 years old, five foot nine. Uh, not quite a short king, but what are you gonna do? And yeah, I think we're just gonna get into it. I just wanna play the game at this point, so let's just start. Welcome to Sky Islands. Here you will have to make expeditions from your floating sanctuary base to the world below. Find your way to the exit within the time limit and bring back whatever you can carry, but if you die, you will be returned to the island injured and lose all equipment you were carrying. All right, let's get into it. Let's see our base. Oh no, never mind. While on expedition, you will be timed by warp pulses, which hit you at regular intervals. After eight pulses, you will suffer warp sickness, which results in reduced stats. Every pulse after that will lower your stats even further. After the 12th pulse, you will begin to disintegrate, okay, taking damage until you die. Get home safely to reset the timer. Well, how do I get back? Now, let's select your difficulty mode. This only affects how long the expedition timer is. It won't change combat difficulty, okay. Casual time limits are more relaxed. Warp pulses occur every 90 minutes. This means warp sickness sets in 12 hours after being Earthside and disintegration after 18 hours. You have more time for activities and reaching the extraction should generally not be a problem. Okay, so it sounds like there's going to be a point on the map we have to go to to extract. And if we take too long to get there, then we <laughs> disintegrate. 
okay, so I thought this would be more like you could uh, activate an island or an I item to extract at will, which I guess is not how Tarkov works. So you know, whatever. Uh, let's just go normal. I don't really want to fuss with this. Or pulses every 15 minutes can't be down there more than three hours yeah if we have to find a point of interest on the map in three hours that could be an issue you know this game has a lot of enemies we would have to to kind of deal with oh god it's literally an uh, it's just a big square in in the sky now zoom out please okay it's it's just a big old square huh well i thought there would be facilities um i get so, so here's the thing I don't know about this this game, or this mod, I should say. I don't know if I have to build everything from scratch, like I have to build my own buildings and, and everything like that, or if there's like a mechanism by which we, we like find NPCs and we it auto builds like using the base building system, uh, like the, the faction camp system. And my concern is that I don't know how we're gonna sleep here is the thing because if this has weather which i assume it it would have weather active so it could rain and things like that i have no idea how we're gonna sleep up here because building something even just like a shack is like a huge work okay we we're apparently on the seventh z level so that's uh that's nice um so i don't know how we're gonna sleep we can't sleep on the surface right because we only have eight hours to get back to base or whatever I don't know what to do about that. Uh, I guess we'll build, we can't even build a lean-to because there's no trees or anything. I guess we'll have to build a shack, okay. What is all this? Oh, just a whole load of crap. Okay, I mean, is it food? Do we have food? We have three, three acorns and some Prussian blue and cotton patches. Okay, so that's probably like your basic medical stuff, right? Actually, it's just random crap. Cigarette butts, filthy cotton patches. Why are they filthy? Um. Man, I don't know what to make of most of this. It's some random nature stuff as well, like tan bark and splintered wood. Empty shopping bags. I guess maybe... I I can't, I can't even think of things to craft with most of this stuff. Okay, so it's just random crap. That's fine. We're, again, we're going to go on an expedition. We're going to find some stuff. Okay, what's this statue? Uh, Warp Obelisk. A strange statue that will whisk you away. Okay, don't touch that. What is this pile? Difficulty adjuster, portal storm, warding stone, salve of forgiveness, stat stone. Oh, we have a tent. Okay. Tent's really good for the reasons we just discussed about not sleeping out in the rain and snow and whatnot. Okay. I do I do love whenever I see something like a tent have uh, damaged stats attached to it. That's always uh, amusing. Okay. What is this crap? I mean, it's a lot of stuff. Difficulty adjuster. Slab lets you change how difficult. Yeah. So the thing we just set probably if we wanted to reset that. Warding stone, faint humming purplish stone is meant to ward portal storms away from the island. When used on the sanctuary island during a portal storm, it'll clear the weather. That's great. I really like that, actually, because um, this could be a huge issue up here with, with a portal storm. Nowhere to go, nothing to hide us, things like that. Then we've got the Salve of Forgiveness, a boon from whatever powers control the warp stream meant to make your first excursions safer. Using this strange blue-black goop will instantly heal your wounds and return you to health, but only while in your island sanctuary. Most importantly, this will only work when you are getting started. After you survived a few trips, it becomes a useless goo. Okay, so like an instant heal item that would heal all of our wounds, but after a few sessions, it's gonna gonna stop working which is fine and it says it only works here so we don't have to take that with us stat stone special stone slab that you can activate to check your expedition statistics okay so presumably there are no stats right now where oh, okay uh total x yeah you zero 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 um and then some information about the pulses uh we might as well set up the tent i guess right oh that takes a long time wasn't really thinking about that okay so that's fine. Normally I would just drag a mattress from town or something like that, but uh, I don't think that's an option here. Well, we can wield a mattress. If we know we're gonna extract, we could potentially wield a mattress to bring it with us. And again, because I don't know anything about this mod, I don't know if this tent is gonna get deleted, like if a trader shows up or something. Um, Cause like a key part of Tarkov is interacting with the traders. So I assume there are NPCs that are gonna show up on this island. And then if it uses the faction base building system, it might overwrite our tent, but I don't know. We're not gonna worry about that. So let's just drop 
our, our we don't need our book and we will keep the fo- I mean we're going to find something that tells time when we get down there but I guess we'll keep the phone it's such a small object the hiking backpack's going to do a lot of work for us jeans knit scarf hiking boots socks t-shirt yeah so our upper body's in pretty I mean really we have no armor anywhere so like our whole our whole uh, character is vulnerable at the moment Anyway, is there any way we can prepare before we go down there? I guess this pile of crap could mean we could craft something. Let's open our crafting menu. Let's clear all these recipes. I hate that new pop-up. Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I just don't like it personally. Uh, we can't make any basic weapons, it looks like, uh, except for a rock in a sock. Let's have a look at this. Eight bash damage. Well, that's horrific. Um, we did take unarmed. I don't know the key for unarmed... Um, like, we don't have... I mean, we have the proficiency for unarmed. You know how to punch someone without hurting your wrist. Yeah, that's not going to help with really anything. Our dodge is six, which is amazing, so that's pretty good. So I think, in hindsight, taking unarmed maybe was a waste of, of stuff. I shouldn't have probably done that. Anyway, let's... Uh, I guess we'll head out on our first expedition. So we have eight hours from the time we leave... Begin searching for a spot to teleport to. It may take a moment while we scan the world. Your game may appear to freeze. So this is the other question I have here. Sorry, this is taking a long time to get into the actual game. My other question here is, is it going to generate a completely new area every single time we teleport down? Or is the world still persistent in that we might end up near the same towns? Things like that. So I'm not sure. I feel woefully unequipped. But this is not unlike how every character starts the game. So let's... Just do it, I guess. You've arrived. Press a key when ready with, and random missions will be generated for this expedition. Okay, so when it said missions, I thought they would be missions from like NPCs in our Sky Island, but it looks like they take place, uh, like they're given down here, which is interesting. You're still materializing and not fully visible yet. In about 60 seconds, the world will be able to see you. So if you were warped into danger, now's your chance to get to cover. That's really clever to add that. I think that's a great idea. Press a key when... No, we already read that. So there is a corpse nearby. Uh, so we should have missions. Okay, faction succession. You have some time left. You can transfer. We're not worried about that. Kill 10 zombies in this expedition. Absolutely, we can do that. Kill at least 10 zombified humans or creatures before returning to your sanctuary for bonus warp shards. Okay, I have no idea what those are. Find the warp shards. A small cluster was left behind at this location. All you need to do is find and retrieve them. There may be threats nearby, but unlike most tasks, no special guards are on site. A minimal reward, but little risk. Yo, this is awesome. I like this a lot so far. I mean, we haven't done anything, but I like the idea of it quite a lot. Kill the warp draining horde. A uh, horde of low level zombies congregating. Uh, clear them out for warp shards and reach one of the exit points. So it looks like we have two exit points. You want to go home with your stuff, you'll need to reach one of these warp points. They're only th the, the only thing that can bring you back to the sanctuary island in one piece. Yo, this is awesome okay uh so let's set, select that and check our map oh lord it's so f oh it's so far away bro oh god it's so far away how many map tiles 130 good god let's check the other one nope wrong button check that one this one's to the south 144 also pretty far why is this revealed must be a different map yeah kill the horde Okay. Man, it's so far down here. Okay, and, and they all appear to be just in the field, which is actually probably preferable to be in a field than in a city somewhere. Well, what about... Um, let's, let's find the warp shards where they're on. Okay, so it looks like either one we head to, there's a mission objective on the way. I think we would rather clear this one where it's just go and pick up there's nothing special there because this one doesn't involve killing a horde of enemies and we don't know what's between us and them man this this not seeing is also like uh i'm nervous because usually when you pick up a new game it starts you with uh some of the map revealed where you can see nearby towns and things like that and i really thought we would start near a town where i could uh, like properly manufacture a weapon i guess we're gonna head north i'm uh I'm nervous. Let's check this corpse, though. You might have something on you. Just uh, some clean clothes. Uh, we'll definitely take the painkillers. Everything else can stay. We don't really want any of that. Uh, is there anything else nearby? Um, 
it again it's been a minute since i played so do bear with me as i familiarize myself with the game a little bit also what it is spring day 61 so we don't have to worry too much about being frozen you fully materialize you're not invisible anymore okay now we could probably grab a weapon in the in the woods here I'm a little trusting that our unarmed could take like a base level enemy. Oh, huge horde of something. I think it's turkeys though. Hello birds. What are you? Little sparrows. Uh, why are there shell casings and blood everywhere? 270 Winchester casing with someone hunting birds. Let's, let's pretend that's what it was and it wasn't someone being mauled to death. Uh, still no sign of a town. We did see a point of interest here. I didn't notice a scrapyard. I think, don't they have the rust zombies? all over them with the, the shards of metal, the ones that give you tetanus. Let's just head north for the time being. I would really like to get to any building, any building where we could potentially get pieces to make a weapon, really is what this comes down to. Uh, a little bit to speed this up. Okay, I can work with farm fields because farm fields tend to have farm houses at them. And although they do occasionally have zombies in them, or even most of the time, I think, it would be a chance for us to grab maybe a pitchfork or some other uh, farming implement that we could use as a weapon. So what we want to go is over to the dirt road because I believe that should lead us to a farmhouse. I see a green thing over here, which indicates it could be hostile. I mean, it's not, green means it's not hostile, but I mean, it could become hostile if we get too close to it. Mutant housefly the size of a small dog. Yep, it's always with the mutant animals and in Cataclysm. We have more mutant animals at this point uh, than ever at any point in history uh, of this game, which I guess makes uh, plenty of sense, but yeah, I don't really feel like wandering through farm fields in hopes of finding a farmhouse, but I guess that's what we're doing. Hello, Migo. That's going to be uh, 59 tiles to the northeast. Isn't their vision radius 60 tiles? Because that could be... That's bad. Migo hostile. You don't see me. What are you fighting there? A Graken. So the Graken is going to die. And we really don't want... Uh, I see the mold over there as well, which is not an issue. They don't care. Um, they're basically giant mo... I think they're described as cows, right? The size of a cow. Um, so the Migo will murder us uh, out here with nothing in our hands. Uh, and the Graken could flee in this direction. So instead of going north, which, uh, again, with, with the state of map specials, uh, this could be that enormous farm that generates like a million different layouts and could be could look any way and we have no idea where the farmhouse could be. I did not spot this cabin until just now, so I think we're going to head back to the cabin. Yeah, it is fleeing in our direction, so what I'm going to do, uh, because we're at the very edge of our vision radius, but Migo have excellent sight radiuses, so we, we don't want to deal with that. So I'm going to go to Sprint which is not really what I wanted to do. And we're gonna get them off screen, uh, which should give us a chance to put enough distance that I don't have to worry about it uh, running in this direction and really screwing things up. We're gonna head into the forest just to break up line of sight a little bit more, and then we'll rest to get rid of uh, the heartbeat sound from our low stamina. Okay, we'll check the cabin. Now again, could be zombies in here. We're not really skilled at anything. We have a high dodge because of our, our like low, low equipment load, which is something at least. And unarmed familiarity means, I don't know, one in melee, two in unarmed combat. We could kill a base level enemy probably if we kite properly. I don't want to do that though. So let's just uh, peep this cabin. I see a broken window which means it probably fled outside. We did see a lot of wildlife around here, so odds are good uh, that it has fled to uh, chase a bird or something like that. I'd like to get eyes on it from the other side, but the angles aren't gonna line up. Brazier's pretty cool. I uh, could take that down, I guess. Although, isn't it huge? It's 30 liters, probably not gonna take that with us. Uh, no easy way to get in here. I didn't want to smash the windows in case something was here, but it looks like they're not. So we're just going to go in the, the broken window here. Let's grab some loot. Uh, right now we need literally everything. I see shelving units, which means we could get a pipe. And uh, of course there should be a sink around here somewhere, which should let us get a pipe fitting. So we could make a pipe mace at least. Looks like this cabin was abandoned. There does not appear to be a single item in this building other than empty cardboard boxes. Great. 
And an empty spray can. Exciting. Okay, smash the stool. Oh, I thought you would give me a plank. I need a, a proper plank to be smashing with. What What's the bash on the splintered wood? It's literally a splinter, right? Four bash? Yeah, that's not going to do it. Because um, we need something to, to smash down the shelving unit here. Uh, we're not... Okay, I was going to say we're not getting the messages that say we can't smash this. Let's smash a shelf here. Grab a pipe. I think a pipe, it's like a 50% drop or something like that. Smash the sink. Uh, pipe fittings. And now we can craft a pipe mace. Fantastic. We don't need the plank anymore, so we'll wield the pipe mace. Store an inventory. No. Oh, I didn't mean to... Whoops. Wield the pipe mace. Okay, so the pipe mace uh, is like a great starter weapon. It's not... Uh, obviously, it's not a reach weapon. Uh, the DPS is only 11.9 thought it was higher than that it has 20 bash 103 base moves per attack i mean whatever this is this is fine and unfortunately we don't have like the skills required for most of uh most special techniques that we would find we do uh, i think block does not require any particular skill level so at least we have the medium blocking ability which combined with our 5.8 in dodge our current value is pretty great i don't think we're going to be getting hit too much Oh, I see, because we're low on stamina. I bet that lowered the pipe maces. No, okay, I thought maybe the moves per attack was based on us being low stamina and being kind of winded, but I guess not. That is something. So we do have a weapon in our hands now, which, if nothing else, makes me feel more confident. We have a lighter as well with five charges, so we can start a fire if we need to. Of course, we'll take that back with us because it's such a small pocket item. And so far, all we found is aspirin. It's not great. So we're going to hit the road again. Um, I guess I'll take the brazier. We're, we're definitely going to drop that as we find other loot. Okay, how close are we here? Very far away. Okay, so let's just um, head back into the forest, I guess. The issue with moving through the forest, as I said, we have a lot of um, mutant animals. And there are a lot of them that can appear in a forest. And we really don't want to get mauled to death, but... Whatever, I don't know what else to do. It's better than trying to go up where the Migo was, so we'll just hit the road here again. Rottweiler spotted, yes. Okay, so this is a dog. This is a zombie dog, actually. Terrifying breed to face feral. Rottweilers are descended from Roman Legion Mastiffs. It's robust, vicious, and quite capable of mauling a human to death. Okay, so I thought the Rottweiler was a joke name for uh, a zombie dog, but it looks like this is actually like a, a normal dog that just happens to be out in the woods. I do see blood nearby, so it probably killed something, uh, which would probably be a turkey or a crow here. Aren't Mastiffs the one that were... The dog breed that was like bred to fight bears or something like that. They're crazy powerful. So I don't really want to mess with that. It says it's tracking, which is not inherently harmful, but it triggered safe mode and it's a dog and it could probably mess us up pretty good. I'm just going to proceed north and, and hopefully it doesn't come over here. We see a great Pyrenees as well. Those are much friendlier dogs, I think. Large and powerful breed, uh, beautiful thick white coat. Bred to deter wolves and other predators now faced with protecting livestock. So also tracking, but I don't think hostile. I can't remember how to tell. Tracking means they're not hostile, right? But tracking often means if a creature gets close, they shift to hostile. Is that is that right? I see blood over there. I I They could have killed a zombie or something, which would be, be mean that there's loot there. But most likely it's just animals. We're just going to head north. A little further and we're gonna keep checking because we would really like to find like a town before we try to do these objectives and things so we could a little bit better equip ourselves maybe find I don't know a leather jacket a Kevlar vest any kind of protection okay just more nothingness so we're just gonna head up there this has not been a uh, absolutely action-packed thrill ride thus far it's a lot of wandering in the in the road slime spotted stop yes the Graken is engulfed by the amoebic mold. Okay. That's that's not cool, bro. Hello. We have some Graken, which again, this is the same body spawn that we just saw with the Migo, which has a chance to spawn uh, some of these nether creatures. So slimes are hostile, and they're also a little hard to hit, and I believe they 
or don't they replicate like when you hit them they split or something like that like the molds from uh, net hack and stuff okay so this is a drug body drop it's not a science body drop it doesn't really matter because there's just not going to be anything really uh we were hoping for guns like that that's the ultimate hope when you find something like this is that one of them would have like a weapon on them now the slime can't see us they move pretty slow i believe okay now this is cause for alarm yeah a lot of web spiders light gray mutant spider the size of a dog yeah everything's the size of a dog in this game um so I think it's better to deal with, we can swing up, check out the bodies and then head through this. And this is why we don't really want to head through the forest, but uh, we'll swing north here. Maybe we'll catch a glimpse of like the edge of a town up here would be great. Uh, we'll check the bodies, we'll kill the slime if we have to, but I think we can just walk away from the slime. Don't walk up till we get away from the spiders. Let's check these, um, this body drop here. Hello, Gracken. No problem, no, no trouble grab the tobacco the meth uh although i don't think meth has any real benefit in the game um it's just a stimulant right it doesn't make you like um uh like pain relief or anything like that it's just a stimulant i believe a, a recreational drug for most people yeah that slime came down oh you can't even see me huh yeah they must have terrible vision radiuses actually can you see me at all no so they look like they're sound dependent it can't even see me, even though I'm right right here. Okay, that's interesting. I don't want to mess with the molds. It engulfed a Gracken. I don't know what that does exactly, so. All right, so we'll head up this way. Hopefully we come across. Let's turn on, oh, let's not turn on safe mode because it'll trigger on the slime. You've reached your destination. More, <laughs> more blood and gun casings, pretty common in the zombie apocalypse. So we're almost to this um, mission location. Okay, zombie miner, we found something. Zombie's face, hands, work clothes, and miner's helmet are fully covered with stains of coal dust. Okay, so this is presumably a mine, which we don't really want to explore, and I believe you have to hack a console in order to get into the mine anyway, which we're, we're not going to be able to do. But we do have that mission to kill 10 zombies, so we might as well. Miners are like really basic level zombies. I don't think there's anything special about them. I think they just have um, like minor related gear. So yeah, let's, um, and, and we don't have cover, but we can move into the forest and, and trip them over some terrain. So we see two zombie miners. How many are you is like the main question. Can you see me? You can't. So I see three of them. Let's move south and see if we can't draw the attention of just one of them. And I don't know, you know, there might be a joke thing of like, they're miners so they can't see very well, something like that. We're just gonna step up until we get the attention of one of them, preferably. Yeah, your vision radius is terrible, huh? Because they're only about 30 tiles away and they can't see us. So let's say two tiles closer. Yeah, so they have bad vision because uh, most enemies will see you at 40 tiles, three, you know, 35 tiles, something like that. And the way you're oriented, let's move this way, which will put us a few tiles closer. Come on, guys. And or gals. There we go. We got a customer. So we're going to bring them down. Let's make sure we have our pipe mace. And let's find any of this terrain, like high value, slow down. These, the underbrush is okay, I guess. The huckleberry bush is better. So let's lure it down here. We'll use the terrain to our advantage. Oh, it got distracted. No, come on, man. Yeah, it's chasing. Okay. It's 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 just chasing wildlife. Uh-huh. Okay, I really need something exciting to happen in this video or people are going to hate it. Uh, so let's just grab another one. Can we get your attention? God, you're so blind. Okay, come on. Come on. There we go really want to get a kill here okay you're gonna be difficult there we go you grabbed me immediately you lost the conduct non-violence I didn't even hit it yet let's check our encumbrance 22 torso encumbrance yeah it's that brazier let's break the grab and step back because I'm dumb and didn't realize I should drop my backpack okay and then we can go back to walking because I don't think you're very fast you're a little fast okay Great, 
one zombie down. We lost the pacifist. Dead body. Okay. Uh, mining helmet will take, right? You have an integrated light on it. Mining helmet with a heavy LED flashlight. Using this will turn the flashlight on. Why is it gray? Shouldn't it be... Oh, because I can't pick it up. I gotcha. That's fine. Um, and then let's pull you out of there because we're probably going to use the same... Uh, oops. Oh, that's right. Advanced inventory doesn't pull corpses for some reason the first time. You have to do it twice. Let's get you out of here so that we can still see the bushes and we're not going to uh, trip over anything and slow ourselves down while we're trying to fight. The bleeding stops. Yeah, I'm not concerned about a little bit of blood. Five zombie miners, two zombie miners. Come on. Okay. Oh, we're getting the horde music. Six zombie miners. Yeah, most of you are blind though, so I'm not super worried about that. See if they can come through the fence. Good lord. This is more tedious than I remember. Uh, it looks like it might not even be able to smash the fence. Yeah. Okay. So this has been... <laughs> this has been terrible. So the thing is, we can lead them through the gates at the front. Like, that's not the issue. Is Like, we can get to them if we want to get to them. The issue is I want to use the terrain to my advantage, and I don't want uh, seven of them to come at me at the same time. Really. Um, so you're too far away. You're not going to see me. If I come up to smash the fence, you will see me. At least one of you will. And then there's two of them here. So we don't really want two of them at the same time. Uh, I guess we'll go around to the... Man, you guys are so blind. That's crazy. I didn't expect them to have such a short vision radius. Oh, and it's... I can't even open... I can't even open the gate. Okay. I, I don't I don't know what to do here. They're not even high value people. Um, I would like to check the vehicles is like the thing. Like, look, this looks like it's in really good shape. Never mind, it's, it looks like it's in terrible shape. But it might have a working vehicle right there, you know. Uh, and then this is where we would need to break in to use the terminal. Maybe these gates are unlocked. We can hop the fence, but I don't want to hop the fence because then we're in a confined space with all these all these enemies. Same with the, the petrol stuff here as well. We could get uh, gasoline, and I believe this is tool storage, which would be nice. Can we see tool storage from here and see what they've got going on? We kind of can. Jerry can. Toolbox is, like, really valuable. We They could have tons of stuff in there that we would want. It also says survival kit. I have no idea what's in there, but I bet it's amazing. What we could do is hop the fence, run in, grab this stuff, and bolt uh, instead of fighting them all. Same for checking the vehicle. What I could do is lure them to this corner. Um, you know, probably better to lead them north. If we can lead them north, well, they would get stuck on this fence. If we could lead them north, we could back off, walk all the way around, and then hop the fence at the bottom and not have to worry about them. Is probably the thing to do, I guess. So we'll lure them as far up as we can. How far is your vision exactly? I, I just, I wish I knew better. I wish I knew these creatures better, but I don't. So they're all stacked up on that side. Oh, they did break out. They did get through the fence, and it looks like they're chasing wildlife. So that's going to remove some of the threat there. And then we should be able to... Oh, your body shivers slightly as a warp pulse passes through, and another pulse will hit in 45 minutes. We're burning more time than I thought we would. Okay. We need to go deeper, reach a mine. Yes, I, I did it. Oh, and now we see something so much worse, which are wasps. To our west. Ah, of course, all this time to get in here, and, and now we're probably just going to have to leave right away. Uh, I'm going to hop the fence. We're going to try to make a, a rush for the tools, because I have to do something in this episode. Nothing has happened yet. We're going to crouch, but I think there's a guy in here, so probably we should just sprint. But I, I wanted to crouch because I, I think these have a little... No, they have zero cover, so it does not matter. Now, don't wait, dummy. Let's go back to walking and let's check. So we do have a miner here. So what do we want to grab? How long does it take to grab things? Uh, like three seconds, I think. Let's lure you out. Lure you out. So we have some space. Should not have run back into the direction it was going. 
Actually, we want to keep running because we do want that space. So we can't... Oh, I don't have my backpack. Oh, I dropped my backpack. I'm so dumb. Great. Okay. Let you come in. We'll give you the slip. Hop back over the fence. Go back to walking. Can't believe I dropped my backpack, which is now swarming with wasps. There's my backpack, ladies and gentlemen. It's right there. Swarming with wasps. Okay. Um, this has been a horrific start to our series. I don't know what to do. We can't go down there. Like, I'm not, <laughs> not going down to mess with the wasps. So here's the thing. Oh, but it would be such a waste. Uh, first of all, go back to walk. We can't rest. I was going to say rest to get rid of the heartbeat sound, but we really can't. Let's just walk this way. So the wasps came south. Maybe they'll move off. But the issue is I can't take a wasp. A wasp will mess me up. So what we could do is run down there, grab our backpack, put it on, and then let them kill us. And we'll just go back to the Sky Island, which is not what I want to do. Uh, looks like there's... I never pulped the corpse either. Just showing how out of practice I am. It's possible the wasps will move off. Uh, but we can't pick anything up without a backpack. Oh, I'm so dumb. Let's move north. We'll rest. Get our stand back. Looks like there's a wasp nest right here. Yeah. That's no good. This has gone terribly. <laughs> This has gone terribly. I, it looks like they're moving. They they do fight wildlife. Like if a wasp sees a, a bird, I believe they do attack each other. And they definitely fight zombies. I could lure, try to lure the zombies down here to fight with them. That hiking backpack is nice too. I don't know. They are moving off kind of. Kind of. Yeah. I guess. You know, I'm just going to fight this guy. Um, to try and clear this out so I can, you know, wait more comfortably. What's this? 400 move cost. You grab me, but you're done. Uh, do you have... Oh, I can't wear a backpack anyway because I'm squeamish. So if I wanted to wear it, I can't. Um, and we're just going to chill for a minute and see if those wasps, like, you know, bugger off, I guess. Wasp queen. Yeah, it's just getting worse and worse, huh? Hello, madam. Man, you guys are still just right there, huh? And one of them's tracking me. Oh, internet, I, I ruined it. I screwed everything up. It looks clear-ish. But I'd have to get so close to this one. I don't know what their vision radius is. They're as fast as me. The size of a large cat. Man, a wasp will ruin us. I'm gonna go get the bag. I don't care. No, there's one right here. Come on. I mean, maybe there's maybe there's a pack in here. Oh, hello, zombie. Yeah, go ahead and mess with the car. That's fine. Do any of you have a bag? We had the survival kit. Any bag in the survival kit? No. You can't wear a toolbox. You can't wear this. The kit's like a box. It's not like a bag we could wear. I see a bag. Hiking backpack. Yes. Thank you, God. Okay. That's. <laughs> That's a start. How much? Okay, let's grab this. This is high value stuff. Like I know this was like a huge waste of time and I'm sure people are frustrated, but like this is a lot of stuff that we want. We need tools. We have essentially nothing. We don't need to worry about the clangs. I don't like that I'm hearing them here, which is odd. Maybe they're in the building messing with the machinery and shelving. Okay, uh, you know, it takes less time to just grab the box itself, although we don't need most of this. Uh, and it'll take up, you know, I don't care. Just pick up everything. We need the wrench, we need we need pliers, we need screwdrivers. Um, flashlight for sure. Uh, super glue, tongue and groove pliers, no idea what the difference is. Screwdriver set, absolutely. Uh, as long as that vehicle holds up, they're not going to get right to us, so I'm not super concerned about them. 
I am worried they're going to draw the Wasp Queen with their sounds, but with three of them here, we should be able to lure her to one of them and escape if we had to. Um, hand pump, rubber hose, flashlight. Uh, we will take another one, I guess. We want all these batteries as well, which is like pretty important. Uh, you can't use a pocket knife for a knife spear, so that's like not super relevant. Obviously, it's like a knife in your pocket we could take with us, but... Uh, and we do want the adjustable wrench. Sorry, I'm a little scattered now because I'm like, this has gone pretty poorly. Check the vehicle. Uh, oh man, it's been so long I forget how to read a, a vehicle. We do have an engine, we have tanks, we have no battery. So this vehicle's not going to run. So we don't need to worry about that. It does have wheels. Uh, I was going to say we could come back, but obviously if we're pulsing out of existence, we can't come back. And I think we just want to bail. Um, the problem too is that the, the best way to bail would be this way to keep the zombies tangled up, but we can't go that way because of the wasps. We could head south into the forest, but they were kind of down there. So I think we want to head east to go up and go all the way around, uh, which is, is probably our only real choice here. We don't want to sprint if we don't have to, and we kind of want to see where the wasps are before we make a break in any direction. There's really no cover. We just want to sprint to the right and hop that fence. No, don't wait. My bad. So we'll sprint this way. Hop the fence. We well, can't hop that section. So we'll hop this section. And remember, too, they broke through the fence here to the north and headed off to the east. So there is one there. But I think if we just kind of maintain our current, like, distance, I think we're okay. So we're gonna get out of there. We do have more enemies to the north. That was zoom instead of look. See what we got. Three zombie miners, okay. Again, their vision radius is pretty terrible. I'm pretty sure we can just cut diagonally and get around them. We really should call the episode though. Uh, yeah, so this was my first uh, attempt at live commentary in a really long time. Where are these aphids at? They're not hostile, right? Like they're, they're tiny, size of a rabbit, constantly searching for plants to suck from phrasing okay yeah so this is my first attempt at live commentary in a really long time also the video went 50 minutes before i edited it so uh hopefully you, know, you were in for that because i don't know what people are going to think of that i'm super excited to be playing cataclysm again if you're excited as well if you're interested in sky island any of that stuff please leave me a comment let me know that you enjoyed the video sorry i dropped my backpack like an idiot and forgot and then sort of got overwhelmed by some of the stimuli around me it's been a really long time since i played this game i'm super excited Excited to be playing again everyone for now thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video i really hope you did and i'll be back uh, hopefully in the near future with another one and if everything goes to plan this video will have gone up on christmas day so merry christmas to those of you that celebrate uh, i'm not a big i don't participate in holiday stuff but yeah so everybody thanks for being here and hopefully i'll be back soon with another episode so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time